Hello everybody. Welcome to our Green Pines Family Bible Study. Today we're going to spend some time reading about Ruth and Boaz. Before that, we're going to have a word of prayer and then we're going to sing Open the Eyes of My Heart, Lord. So if you'll close your eyes with me, bow your heads for a moment of prayer. Heavenly Father, thank you for this day. Thank you for this time of worship and learning the words of the Bible, your words, Lord. Thank you for the people we get to share this message with. And we just pray that you are, are here with us, keeping us safe and enjoying this time together. In Jesus' name we pray, amen. And now David James will take it away. Open the eyes of my heart, Lord. Open the eyes of my heart. Oh, I want to see you. Oh, I want to see you. Open the eyes of my heart, Lord. Open the eyes of my heart. Oh, I want to see you. Oh, I want to see you. To see you high. To see you high and lift. Shining in the light of your glory Pour out your power and love As we sing holy, holy, holy Open the eyes of my heart, Lord Open the eyes of my heart Oh, I want to see you to see you sing that again open the eyes open the eyes of my heart Lord. open the eyes of my heart oh I want to see you oh I want to see you to see morning we're singing holy 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 we're singing holy 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 oh i want to see you and open the eyes of my heart lord open the eyes of my to see you Oh, I want to see you Hey friends and family, welcome to our special time reading the Bible. The Bible we're reading today is the Big Picture Interactive Story Bible. Some of you have seen this on our Sundays when we're learning through this Bible. Um, today we're going to read Ruth and Boaz. Miss Lucy is here helping me today, and she's going to put on a little puppet show for you while I read the story. This is from Ruth, chapters 1 through 4 in the Bible. During the time of the judges, a woman named Naomi lived in Bethlehem with her husband, Yes, ma'am, Elimelech, and their two sons. There was a famine in the land, so they traveled to Moab, where there was food. 
While they were in Moab, Elimelech died. Naomi's sons married Moabite women, Orpah and Ruth. Then Naomi's sons died too. Naomi heard that the famine had ended in Bethlehem, so she decided to return home. She told Orpah and Ruth to go back to their own families. Weeping, Orpah kissed her mother-in-law goodbye and left. But Ruth clung to Naomi and said, wherever you go, I will go, and wherever you live, I will live. Your people will be my people, and your God will be my God. Naomi and Ruth traveled to Bethlehem. It was the beginning of the barley harvest. So Ruth went into the fields to gather the grain that the workers dropped. This would be their food. She happened to go to the field of Boaz, a good man from the family of Elimelech. Boaz saw Ruth and asked who she was. When he found out she was Naomi's daughter-in-law, he said to her, don't go to any other fields. Stay here with my servants where you'll be safe. Hold these, please. Then he made sure Ruth had enough food. Why are you so kind? Ruth asked. I've heard about all you've done for Naomi, he told her. Ruth told Naomi about Boaz. He's one of our family redeemers, Naomi said. A family redeemer is someone who would help his relatives if they were in trouble. Naomi told Ruth to keep working in his fields. Now, Naomi went to Ruth. Naomi wanted Ruth to have a husband to care for her. At the end of the harvest, she told Ruth to put on her you're best gonna, clothes. You're not even going to be any of them. Can you hold them up? Show people who they are. Then she sent Ruth to the threshing floor to lie down at Boaz's feet. Mommy, do I have to go? <laughs> In this way, Ruth showed him that she hoped he would marry her. Boaz did promise to marry her. He filled her shawl with grain and sent her back to Naomi. Boaz bought back the land that had belonged to Naomi's husband, and then he married Ruth. They had a son named Obed, and Naomi took care of him. When Obed grew up, he became the father of Jesse, who was the father of King David. So on our puppets, we have Ruth and Boaz, and we've got Naomi and Obed. This is the family. So today we're going to do a little craft that goes along with our story. What you'll need is a paper plate, some yellow leaves or a grain, a black and brown crayon, a glue stick, a stapler, and some scissors. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to cut the plate in half. Oh, I, I can do that. You want to help me? Mm -hmm. You got this. Good job. So we're going to cut it in half, and then we're going to color it. Okay, now you can. So we're going to take our black crayon, and we're going to draw lines. We're going to draw lines on it to make it look like a basket. Oh, like we're weaving. I don't know how to make a basket. Just do straight lines across to make a basket. Okay. And then cross them. I don't know how to cross them. Do some in a different direction. So the first one, we went down. Did it. This way? Yep. All right. Next, you're going to take your brown crayon, and then you're going to color all over the basket, because baskets... Good job. Now we're going to do the same on our grain. So you're going to take a piece of grain, draw a line right down the middle, take with your black crayon. One more last thing. Right here. And then you're going to fan out some lines. 
to make grain. And you can do as many pieces as you want. And that's going to be our grain. Good job, Lou. Can you show everybody at home what you made? There's your grain. Good job. Do you want to make another one? No, I don't want to make another one. Okay. So now we're going to glue our grain to the inside of the plate. So here's your glue. Glue your... Yep. Put the, put the glue on the grain. Good job. And then stick it so you can see it sticking out of the basket. So then we're going to put the two pieces together and we'll make a basket. You want to put some more on? Put some glue on your plate. Put some glue on your plate. And then you can stick your grain to the plate. Good job. Some more glue. You made it come off. That's okay. Make sure it sticks out the top so you can see it sticking out of the basket. Hmm? Yep, put some glue right here. And then you can stick it anywhere you want. Good. Now that both the sides of the basket are colored and we've got grain in our basket, then we're going to staple it together. Can you squeeze? Good job. Here, we'll squeeze another one. Squeeze. And we'll squeeze another one. Good. And now you can see that you've got grain in your basket. I want to keep it. I want to keep it. You can take that home. Yay. Well, thank you for joining us today. We've had so much fun making our baskets and our grain and reading our story. We hope you've enjoyed this and the craft. I can see the inside. And you can see the inside where your grain goes. And if you want, you can put some more in there. Oh, yeah. Just like that. And there is your basket. So Lucy, who picked up the grain from our story? Who went out to the fields to pick up the grain? Moses. Ruth? Ruth went to pick up the grain. Why? Why, Mommy? Who was she picking up the grain for? Who did she pick up the grain for? I don't know. Who is her? Who is this? What is her name? Naomi. Naomi, yeah. She was picking up grain to feed Naomi. That's Naomi. Thank you guys. We hope you enjoyed. <laughs> Have a good day.